और कैसे हो भाई लोगों यहाँ पे हराम जादो ने सतिया नाश कर दिया लेडीज एंड जर्मन इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी टॉक्ट अबाउट दिस इन सेन एक्टिविजन पैरन ओके ऑब्वियसली इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी टॉक अबाउट द जी टी लीक्स बट इन द लास्ट लास्ट वीडियो वी टॉक्ट अबाउट दिस पैरन एंड दिस हैज ब्लोन अप सेंस It has the microtransaction situation. It got matching engine. It got like crazy amount of stuff. Like a lot to do with your sweat, your face, and biometric stuff. Bruh. Which sounds absolute Chinese to a stud muffin out there that just doesn't know Chinese. Okay, that's how it is. But today, guys, well, guess what? We gotta switch up the uh, the the music for this one. Okay, like the video, subscribe if you're new because I do believe that your friends deserve to know the truth. Like you need to know the truth. Okay. Sony's new technology would adapt game difficulty to a player skill level. Mm -hmm. Yay! So this is another one of those skill-based matchmaking that's gonna be coming to gaming. So if Call of Duty skill-based matchmaking was not enough, well, uh, we got another one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's actually get it uh, get down to this one. So Sony Interactive Entertainment has filed a patent for a new technology that would adapt a game's difficulty to the player's skill level in real time. Insider Gaming first reported. And for this one, man, why? I gotta ask this simple question. Why do gamers constantly gotta go through million different algorithms? Why can't we just have like one game without any bullshit, right? Like, why do we constantly gotta get this bullshit? I mean, this is complete bull squash, ladies and gentlemen. Like the video if you agree. Designed for PlayStation, the technology is called Adapt Difficult Calibration for skill-based activities in mean virtual environments. I mean, ooh, they are indeed calling it skill-based activities. I mean, get them on, bro. And it will rely on algorithms to gauge the player's expertise in a given game and then respond accordingly to either challenge them further or dial back the difficulty by making specific game elements easier or harder. The pattern, the pattern describes that when a player's performance the level fails to match up to their expected level, parameters determining the game's difficulty will be changed automatically to match the standard and then among those changing elements are the speed of movement delay or hesitation character strength and the number of competitors they face sony's technology wouldn't be imp uh, employing a blanket level of difficulty so it's possible that the technology would dig even deeper into a player's gaming skills to determine wh what exactly their strengths and weaknesses are for instance some players may fail at car crashes but excel in combat specific elements that the game could recognize and address so <laughs> ladies and gentlemen in simple translation ding 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 ding, ding simple translation it is joe over ladies and gentlemen it is is Joe over and you want to see what happened quickly after well uh, our friends uh, at Activision obviously they're not our friends uh, spoiler alert they're not our friends they they absolutely love uh, love this crap anyone else notice how Activision seem to be slowly increasing the prices of the bundles to see how high they can go in Call of Duty. We started off with 1800 Call of Duty points for majority of the bundles. Uh, one Call of Duty or 100 Call of Duty points is most probably like one US dollars. That's how it is, right? And there's a video that I want to show you as well. 1800 probably is somewhere around 18 US dollars. Unless they got those 50% discounts in all those bundles, right? That they, that they love to do. Majority of the bundles that and 2400 call of duty points and now there's 2800 call of duty bundles in the shop Bruh. ladies and gentlemen we creeping up to 30 dollar bundles and they're normalizing all that crap like guys you cannot even make this up like for for example right like uh eh, 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 eh. Friendly this friendly uav this bbc bundle was 20 dollars and now we getting up to 30 dollars are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? And and now check this video out. Roll it. Warfare 3. Hopefully you all had a very safe and Merry Christmas. I did. It was very nice to see friends and family. Yeah. Definitely a pretty good time. But now that we're getting back into the swing of things here as we get ready for the new year, I saw a tweet today and it just kind of like, we're going into a weird time as COD fans because Bobby Kotek is on his way out the door, which I will be doing yeah. a full dedicated video to that. But also, Microsoft is going to be completely taking over and then we're going to yes, be getting sir, into the yes, full sir. year of Modern Warfare. Do you guys think that Microsoft will make Call of Duty great again? 
or do you think that he will uh, or Phil Spencer would just add more BBC bundles, bruh, uh, more skill based matchmaking, and he would like sprinkle in like a little bit more, like you know what, I have a bundle here, 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 here. <laughs> You're like, I wanna know what you guys think is gonna happen. Like, we're gonna see, are we gonna see like more bundles, more skill based matchmaking, more of that crap content, or he's actually gonna make Call of Duty better? I do have a positive feeling and I have a positive outlook for this one specifically, and the only reason I have it is because I don't think they, they are gonna, and indeed they already have, so I don't think they paid 70 billion. To acquire Call of Duty and the entirety of Activision just to ruin it. I know they have ruined Halo franchise. They have ruined a lot of other franchises. Guys, this is not about Xbox fanboys or PlayStation fanboys. Let's face facts, right? Let's face, uh, face facts. Uh, they have ruined a lot of beloved franchises. And so is Sony right now is ruining franchises as well, okay? B but for the most part, Xbox doesn't have a good track record. But I do feel like that this time... They really mean business. This time they really mean game, and this time I think they, they're probably gonna make it better. Because I look at Xbox, and the best thing they currently have is their Game Pass model. And the best strength they have right now is them being easy on consumer. They're very consumer friendly, and Sony is not. Sony used to be, and Xbox wasn't. And then, you know what, tables have turned and s somehow, some way, Xbox and Microsoft realize that they need to win their trust back. And this always happens by the looks of it, right? Like every time we see a company fall, they try, uh, you know, their absolute hardest and the best way to be in the good graces of the fans and in their customers. But the second they become big, it's just like, okay, bro, we got a nickel and dime over customers. We got a nickel and dime, nickel and dime over fans. And that's exactly what's happening with Sony right now. This is why we're consistently seeing the prices. You know, they re came out recently, increased the price of the PlayStation Plus, and uh, God knows what else, what else gonna they're gonna do with that Wolverine gameplay leak that just happened recently, right? That leak has uh, has showed us that they're also planning Spider-Man Three, oh, shit. which is something that we already knew. I mean, we already imagined we're gonna get Spider-Man Three, but alongside that, they are thinking Sony is thinking about releasing Spider-Man Three in three parts ladies and gentlemen and each part is gonna be like 50 bucks or something like that uh, and, and uh, suckers are like bro so we're gonna get down to 150 dollars game bro that like if you want to play spider-man 3 because it's gonna have three parts uh, that's like the early plans uh, obviously when it comes to when maybe in the end it's not gonna be like that maybe in the end they're gonna understand that uh, they should <laughs> they should not be doing that they should not be uh, milking their fan base while it's dry like that maybe they're gonna change and after this leak Maybe their dead ass gonna change because now I'm talking, you guys are talking, everybody's talking. Not everybody, but you, you guys know what, what I mean, right? Uh, so I feel like that this always happens. And Xbox, they used to be nickel and diming. They were just milking every one of their fans while it's dry. But quickly after the Xbox One reveal, they learned that, bruh, we gotta, we gotta do some good, okay? We gotta, we, 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 we gotta be on our gamer side. And now look at them. They got the Xbox Game Pass, uh, say whatever but it's a very very good model i don't have it and i'm just speaking good things about it because on paper it sounds really really good because you just gotta pay like what 15 20 bucks a month and you get hundreds of games and sometimes you also get the new games it's a very good model but do you need an xbox for it absolutely not you can just get it on the the pc uh, but the point here is that xbox is trying to be consumer friendly and sony is not being at least for the time being let's see what happens three, but, but as we all know like right now modern warfare 3 is not doing so well which actually scares me it genuinely it does so it's a, it's a good thing that it's not maybe next time the game's gonna be better or maybe not maybe he's gonna bring in another another perspective let's see we've all heard that modern warfare 3's sales figures have not been that good down 38 percent in the uk they were down a bit here in the united states as well in fact it was one of three times ever where call of duty was not the best selling game in the united Shout out to the fans that did not buy. Shout out to every one of you that are watching this video that did not buy the game. I didn't buy, I escaped the Matrix, the Call of Duty Matrix. But I know somewhere, some of you are probably like, his I, I actually bought it, man, I actually bought it. So what does that mean? I mean, damn, if you bought it, I, I mean, I understand you needed that dope mean. You needed that kick of dope mean. You wanted to play a little bit of that Call of Duty. You wanted to play a little bit of that friendly you and me online. I understand you had needs, but all I'm saying is that play it 
it's fine, okay? But try and not buy those uh, $20 and $30 bundles, okay? Because it it's going to really Obviously, it's still a juggernaut. Everything here is still relative. I mean, COD is massive, but it's very clear that the numbers that Activision are hitting are not the numbers that they were projecting. Oh, and I'm worried about that because a lot of good things have happened with Modern Warfare 3 in terms of updating the movement, bringing back Dead Silence as a perk, all the little mini events that they're doing, of course, the working mini map, like all these things that we've been asking for for a number of years were added into Modern Modern Warfare 3, yet Modern Warfare 3's sales are not reflecting all the good things that happened mm, with the game, yeah. and that has me concerned because what- Point to be noted, ladies and gentlemen, point to be noted. He is actually speaking facts with that. The gist that I got from this one is that, okay, you know what? They tried to do what the fans wanted, but the game is not selling the way they wanted, yeah. right? So maybe next time they will be like, okay, well, uh, last time when we listened to the fans, the fans didn't buy. This year, we're gonna go with the Infinity Tart approach and uh, we're, we're, gonna, we're just gonna do the complete opposite. We're just not gonna listen to our fans. We're, every time they're gonna give us feedback, we're just gonna ignore it. And you know what? To top it all off, we're gonna not just ignore it, but we're gonna call our fans wrong, wrong. and watch those suckers buy our game. That, uh, maybe that's maybe that's the message they're getting right now, which is not something we want. Activision, if you're listening, dog, make good games and stop with the bull squash like that. Like the video if you agree, and uh, remove skill based matchmaking as well, dog. But if they decide to themselves, you know what? We made all these changes based on player feedback and we're making less money. So we're just going to go ahead and revert those changes and go back to the whole Imagine. Infinity Ward style of things because they were making more money under the Infinity Ward system. That is something <laughs> I'm genuinely concerned about. Yeah. But then I saw this. You imagine the deadass do that. That would be crazy, man. That would today be from crazy. Charlie Intel saying, anyone else notice how Activision seems to be slowly increasing the price of bundles yeah. to see how high they can go in Call of Duty? We start off with 1800 COD points for a majority of bundles, then 2,400 COD points, and now there's 2,800 COD point Crazy, bundles man. in the shop. And I'm somebody, you guys know, I don't buy stuff from the shop. Yeah, I, same, I same. never do. I think the last time I bought something from the shop was actually back in Modern Warfare 2019. They did that collaboration with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And the when was the last time you guys actually bought microtransactions? For me, it was uh, in Black Ops 3. I bought the Liquid Dwiniums because uh, one of my internet homie, uh, which uh, I haven't spoken in with years, Years, okay the the guy that I met on the internet he was like <laughs> it is on 50% sale liquid when 50% sale I was like okay I mean damn why not buy it I spent 20 and then I spent another 20 and then I realized bro like what the actual F that I just done I have spent $40 for F all for just digital pixels on the screen and that was my learning lesson and that was somewhere easily around 2015 or 2016 and since then I did not buy any microtransactions other than the battle passes the battle passes are a bit different it's like $10 and you actually get a little bit of content uh, although it's not too much but you know battle passes are way different than you know skins let's just say um, not to shame anyone if you have ever bought it I guess like if you bought it it's just try not buying uh, like uh, constantly uh, or if you're rich I mean maybe you guys are rich maybe that's what it is maybe everybody's a millionaire maybe I'm this is just a you know broke kids problem maybe I'm just a brokey maybe that's what it is maybe you guys are rich and um, or people that buy maybe they are rich and uh, if you're rich I, I get it you have those needs you need the dopamine shots I get it you need it <laughs> you need to reach for it and uh, okay in that instance yeah go, go get those um, dopamine shots by buying the skins but those of you that are struggling right now those of you that uh, you know you know that hey it's a waste of money but you still go ahead and buy it why do you buy it bro why do you put yourself through it you could have saved that money invested that money and five seven ten years from now you could have doubled that money i'm not gonna hey let's be real or let's be real you know the internet uh, gurus will be like you'll double your money tomorrow it doesn't happen it's gonna take five seven 10 years yeah i mean if a stock goes crazy you can certainly make it like within months or maybe even weeks but the probability of that happening is very low i mean if it can go up the higher it goes or the faster it goes up the faster it's gonna decline there's there's a saying i heard which is not coming up but you guys know uh what i'm trying to say so 
honest to god bro that was the last time when i bought but battle pass is something that i bought and with battle passes um for the most part right now i'm not sure what's happening with battle passes and call of duty but back when i bought the battle pass for call of duty you could have gone through the battle pass you could have got 100 tiers and after you have done that you would also get the call of duty points the equivalent of uh it would be a little bit more uh then what you would need to pay to buy a new battle pass right so you would get your money back in call of duty points essentially and then you can go ahead and buy a new battle pass technically for free but you needed a small investment of ten dollars uh and i like the system i felt like that that was actually a really good system but you know the way they designed it is what it was for the to suck in those uh, people that have gambling addictions or get people addicted to that because you know that once you get some call of duty points back 100 200 300 call of duty points once you have reached let's just say somewhere around like tier 20 or 25 once you have that much you're gonna see something shiny in the shop that will probably be for like five dollars so 500 call of duty points and guess what you got 300 so they're like <laughs> It's only two more dollars i gotta i gotta go ahead and spend two more dollars and therefore activision or these companies would get your two dollars that that was basically their goal it's uh you know how the the sales system works right you go in the store it says that thing costs for a hundred dollars you're like that's a lot of money that's expensive I'm not gonna buy it I'm gonna buy it whenever it's on sale and the next day you re return or uh it's like what a hundred dollars but they put it hey it was for 150 or this is not the best thing what am i Bruh. saying you're, you're gonna look at the next product which also says a hundred dollars this is a better example you're gonna look at it it says uh, it's actually a hundred dollars but it was point to be noted it was a 150 but right now it's a hundred dollars so then you're like your pleasure chemicals are going crazy in your mind you're like this you're like this oh my god so it was for 150 now I can get it for 100 and the last thing I suggest that I saw, it was also 100 but it was not on discount, so let's go ahead and initiate! I'm gonna open up my wallet, I'm gonna open up my coochie, Bruh. and I'm gonna buy it! I'm gonna buy it! And therefore, you, you end up buying, and then you get that dopamine. I mean, there's a lot of psychology that, that is uh, in these uh, kinds of things, guys. Especially like, but then if you learn something new, right? The idea being, I would get the Leatherface skin, and then use it in Warzone, because back then, we assumed that Warzone was just going to be Warzone, and it was going to be continuously updated, and therefore, Wrong. skins you bought in 2019 would still be relevant in 2023. Well, yeah. turns out that wasn't the case. So that was the one skin I've ever- Warzone's biggest downfall was them not capitalizing on the live events and not doing live events i mean these seconds got mul this is a it's a multi-billion dollar company why are you guys not doing live well, events? you guys know i don't really buy stuff from the cod shop i like to play the game i like to w. earn things from the game w right but looking back here it does seem like they're hiking up the prices of these bundles within the modern warfare 3 shop especially when you compare them to games that came out just a couple of years ago i mean this is a bit further back but i jumped on a couple of games here i mean checking out black ops 4 i mean the game didn't really have too many bundles it was more of a supply drop <laughs> Game, but back in that game dog black ops 4 yeah black ops 4 also did had one dollar red dot side as a micro transaction yeah. like you kidding me right now one dollar micro transaction i mean red dot one dollar dog I, I i i i swear to god man eight dollars got you like a galaxy skin man you had freaking like dark matter on your character you're like a dark matter <laughs> superhero or some shit and that was 800 cod points you then jump into a game like black ops cold war and again oh, i don't damn. buy stuff from the shop but this looks like a pretty wild bundle 2400 cod points we're gonna assume that 100 cod points equals one american dollar so yeah. 24 dollars here you get an ultra skin which actually looks pretty cool it looks like something out of like an old b horror movie or dog it looks trash bro like i'm sorry but to me it looks trash but i would say there are a lot of skins in the game like weapon skins that actually look very very good and then i look at the price i'm like bruh, bruh. Something like, on, like that, bro. to be honest. I mean, it's not the best we looking skin in the skin, world. Though. It might be my graphics settings. It might be the skin. I'm not entirely sure. But on top of the Ultra skin, you then get three weapons that all have tracers to them. And one of the weapons also evolves over time. It's a reaction weapon. So every three kills or so, your weapon changes and starts to look different. Then on top of that, you get... Really I, I would say, like, all of this content should have been... It should have been free, and it was probably going to be free. If Black Ops Cold War came out, let's just say right after black ops 2 right Bruh. we just in different times right now these things are getting so comfortable selling games for 80 dollars uh is it 80 dollars uh okay in canada it's like 90 plus taxes so it gets up to 100 but uh, yeah usd it's like uh Bruh. 70 70 dollars but 
you know what it's gonna get up to a hundred dollars soon enough guys like let's be real inflation <laughs> gaming is expensive to make i mean come on bro like you suck is crazy though like I, I understand for a free to play game but but you guys are charging you twats are charging 70 like it's a full price game bro cool finishing move a watch some weapon xp a calling card an emblem and a charm I mean, those are pretty basic but like a lot of stuff comparatively for 24 dollars right there then we compared that to one of the more recent bundles here within modern warfare 3 here we have a 28 dollar bundle Crazy, and again bro. it's an awkward skin and you can argue one way or the other i do think this skin does look better than the other one that's all subjective i think the modern warfare 3 one here is pretty freaking cool looking but other than that like the two weapons that come with it it is good looking i do agree but is it 28 dollars good looking though is it 28 dollars good looking come on dog now i would honestly make an argument here that had it been that these suckers were like let's have microtransactions passes i, I don't want to give them any ideas and i shouldn't even be saying that but just for the sake of it for 28 dollars you get all the all one year worth of uh, microtransactions then i would be like okay you know what let me go ahead and buy and get all the skins that would have been much more better than 28 dollars just for one bundle guys recently we had this skill based match again this is an insane video click on this video on the screen and i will see you there they are making new changes to it